Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today we are reviewing the Yingding L50 uh, round die LED. It is a domeless round die LED. We'll have a quick look at it here. And seeing as this is like the 8th million time that I filmed this video, um, I'll try and overlay some of the old footage but it does look pretty crap. I am filming on a brand new action camera, a DJI 2 action cam. And the field of view is very different to my usual cameras that I use. So the beam shots are going to be a little bit different. Um, the video is going to consist of the usual, um, the where we do a throw test, output test, and also our amperage test. So I've already got all that information here. So we'll have a look at it. So basically the LED outputs... This LED does 6.7 to 6.8 amps max using the Sofren 21700s. That gives an, an output of 1,593 lumens. It does a total of 215,654 KCD. That is the lowest score that I got. The highest score that I got, which I'll show you in the video, um, produced 245,000 CD. Now this is a throwier LED compared to the um, Osram 1 mil by 2 I think that's the MN one, the bigger one, not the tiny one. This does actually outthrow that um, with the millimeters per light. So the lumens per millimeters, I should say. Um, what else do we have? So 1,593 lumens. Um, I went with 215,654 KCD. It could very well easily be 245,000 CD because, well, KCD, because looking at it on the video, it does reach the back wall at 400 meters very easy, which is really good to see. Comparing it to some other LEDs, the SFT40 does 169,000 CD, but it does output 2,500 lumens. The XHP 50.3 HI, both of these are in C8s too, does 2,650 lumens, but only 90,000 CD. So this is a uh, kind of like an in-between style LED. So I am on the action cam, so it is pretty hard to see. But you can see the round die there. It does have a glass lens. This is the one with a glass lens that's AR coded. So I've got to say, output and throw of this LED is really, really good. Alright, we'll get the video started. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today we are down here at the park, the field where I usually test um, testing out the uh, Yingding 
L50 LED. This is the one that's uh, it's a domeless round eye LED that is um, well, you guys have already seen it if you watch the start of the video. So yeah, I don't know why I'm doing another intro, but we're down here to do some beam shots. Um, as you've seen before earlier on in the video, how many amps are done? They've done almost 6.8 amps, and it does output about almost 1600 lumens. I measured um, what did I measure? 1500 and something. I can't even see the paper. 4 a.m. and I had to come down here now and do this 1593 lumens I measured and um, to give you guys the candela measurements if you missed it it got a low CD of 215,645 and its highest output was 245,000 so I'm really gonna go with the lowest number because the highest number sounds absolutely insane but right here to the first tree is 50 meters that second tree there is about 100 meters and those back trees are at about 200 meters and you can see the throw really really well and this is only on level number three so we'll crank it up that should be the highest there level number five and uh, you can see your throws really really good I got you guys on a new action camera I'm not sure how it's gonna look but hopefully it looks okay if we go to the back wall there that is 400 plus meters that brick back wall, the uh, walkway there, is legit 400 meters. So this thing does throw very, very good. It actually throws better than the Osram, um, the MN, the bigger, the one mil by two mils, and puts out about the same kind of output, pretty close. They both do about 1500 odd lumens. This one does slightly more. Um, the tint is just okay. It's a cold white. Not really great, but not that bad. So we'll compare it to a few lights. Uh, first up, we'll compare it to the SFT40 in a C8 and see how it does side by side. All right, guys, now we've got the Luminous SFT40 on, which we know does about 2,500 lumens and 169,000 KCD. So you can see, actually, compared to that L50 Yingding, it is actually a much wider beam. And like output isn't actually that different. Well, I mean, it is about a thousand lumens down, but you can see side by side that the um, that the SFT40 does not throw it nearly as as far. But it is, I think it is brighter. That's just the SFT40 there by itself. That's the SFT40. A little bit different tint too, actually. Actually, the uh, Yingding L50 is a bit yellow, a bit more yellow. That's back up. Just step down from turbo mode. And this is the Yingding L50. Well, I did have it on highest mode there. One, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Too many. One, three, four, five. So there we go. So we'll go to the back wall. This is the back wall once again. 400 meters there. Hopefully it shows up on camera. Not sure if it will. This is the Yingding L50 here. So this is the SFT40 to the back wall there, which is 400 meters away, 169,000 KCD and 2,500 lumens. You can see it does reach the back wall pretty good, but we'll put on the Yingding L50 here and you can see side by side, the Yingding does a lot better. It does out throw it. So that 212,000 CD that I measured low and 240,000 CD on high does make quite a difference. Side by side, I can see a lot better when I'm using the Yingding L50 makes a very big difference all right guys so now we've got an unfair comparison this is a ft03 with the sft40 in there so if i remember correct from my test it done about 430,000 kcd and about the same 2500 lumens so we can see to the back wall you can see it very clearly it is much brighter it does throw pretty far you know four three 430,000 KCD is like almost double this. Well, it is double actually, isn't it? But we'll put on the uh, Yingding L50 in the C8 to the side. So you can see uh, throw-wise that the uh, FT-03 is a much tighter beam. I think the battery might actually be going flat in the FT-03 because it looks like I haven't had the towel cap locked, locked out. So yeah. So FT-03 here. Um, L50 Yingding here in the C8. So it's not actually too bad. The Yingding doesn't actually do too bad. It's pretty cool. So we'll go to the 
back wall at 400 meters. So Ying Ding here and FT03 here. FT03 here and the Ying Ding here. You can see the FT03, and of course it is going to out throw it. That's the L50. Sorry, that's the FT03 there. You know, it's the reflector is almost twice as big as the C C8. And that's the Ying Ding L50 there. But I think overall this uh, LED is quite a good performer. It doesn't cost that much. It's uh, got adequate output, you know, 1500 plus lumens. Its throw is actually quite good. If you take my low number, 212,000, or my high number, 240,000, which does seem a little bit too high, but even if you took like an average in between and you average it at 220,000, we can see it out throws the SFT40 by quite a substantial amount. Sorry, I've had the camera turned. I'm not used to having such a small action camera here. So you can see there's quite a difference there in um, throw and output. It's not the best performer output lumens wise, but it does throw really, really well. And because it's not pulling that many amps, you should get pretty good runtime out of it. Uh, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the uh, L50 Yingding LED test. As always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. And uh, also, um, I did say like, but if you could hit the thumbs up, that'd be great. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.